Why are you angry? I didn't even touch you. He's not angry. He is. His tail's twitching. He's not. I bet if I touch his stomach, he's gonna bite. Why do you have to pet his stomach? Because he's fluffy. <laughs> Hi, Boogie. Wow. <laughs> You're not allowed in here because you jumped behind the cabinet and I had to pull everything out to get you out. It is past midnight. <laughs> he's like nine years old. Yeah. Wow. Did he jump in there? Boogie. Wow. How else would he have gotten down there? Wow. Pokey, why would you go down there? Can you climb the blanket, Pokey? Meow. You need to climb up. Okay, what's your next idea? I don't know, maybe I can put like something in here. Like a cowboy? No, like put a, a bucket inside here and then he'll climb in. <laughs> he's not smart enough <laughs> to do that. Oh, oh, he's touching it. Yeah? Come on, Pokey. Is he? Pokey, come on. Come on. <laughs> Trying to rescue your brother. Pokey, are you able to climb this pole? Pokey, jump on the pole. Pokey, come on. Gave up on <laughs> Pokey jumping on whatever. Okay, I pulled the shelf. Pokey. Give him more space. Come here. Hi, come here, buddy. Did I make him enough space to come out? Yes. Huh? Come on, come on. <laughs> come here. Yeah. Stop exploring, get out. Come on. You're done. Oh. You're done in this room. What made you think it's a good idea to dive in there? Did you have any food? No, Did he's an food? idiot. He's just an idiot. But also no, recklessly brave. Are you okay? Okay, I don't think your legs are broken. Just double check. Okay. Can you... Ow. I'm happy you're out too, bud. God, you're such an idiot. Why are you like this? Ow. I don't know how he was surviving on a mountain for months. He wasn't. He was dying. <laughs> hey, we, we did it. Our cats aren't allowed in the storage room because there's just too much stuff for them to get into in here, especially right now. But last summer when we had the door closed, there was no air circulation. And since it gets so hot and humid, our stuff was getting moldy in here. And to prevent that this year, our temporary measure so far has been to put up this cardboard barrier that we block with a weight below it. And then this as like a trap. So if, because Pokey can jump over it, but if he sees this, he'll try to jump onto here. But then like it, because of his weight, it like goes down and then he falls down, so he can't get in here. I made a trap. So he can't get in here. The thing is, I go in and out of this room like five or six times a day to get stuff. So it's really annoying for me to have to bend over and move the weight out of the way and then slide this out of the way. I found a gate product that we can try to use. It's gonna be so ugly. It's gonna look like a jail cell. I'm not thrilled about that, but it's better than our stuff getting all moldy. I could DIY something, but I have much more important DIY projects to work on. Right next to this you. This is not... So much I don't have on. time. I'm working on so many other projects right now. Look at the, the photo. I can't go inside. That's gonna be pokey. There we go. It extends. Whoa, gosh. Okay. I guess it comes all the way out. Oh, go back. All right, I'm gonna build this gate. Haku's back in the GenCon. And I think Peachy's in that box. Yeah? Who? Cool. <laughs> Why are you staring at me? You're right. Konnichiwa. Did I get there? Hey, Pokey. So I need to see you guys just keep moving. <laughs> oh, now Peach is out. He hasn't moved. <laughs> You're so flat. You can't do that. Oh, Pokey got here. Pokey. Can you go inside the storage room? Nagi mo kita yo. As long as you need it. <laughs> you look like in jail. Nagi, you got a cat guard. What are you doing up there, Pookie? <laughs> Meanwhile, Naku. Okay, so pull this up and turn it to lock. So. Pokey can't push this up because he could definitely learn how to do that. It's easier to deal with than cardboard, at least, because the cardboard was really annoying, but it really does look like a jail cell now. 
All right, testing time. <laughs> Pokey, you can literally see what he's doing. Why aren't you trying? <laughs> Well, they're not even trying to break through, which is good. Good job, guys. Looks like it's a success. So I was not feeling the jail bar vibes, especially looking from over there. They like glowed in the dark. They were such a vivid, bright white. So I went to the home center and got a laminate board with just like a paper printout of a dark wood on it. It's pretty nice. It looks so much better, especially when I'm staring over in this direction from the other room. I don't see bright white jail bar vibes anymore. Like, do you see? Yeah. Airflow can come in and out and no cats, so perfect. Also, in my last video, I mentioned a designer on Instagram that I've been obsessed with, Mochifan, and she sent me one of her dresses. Isn't it so amazing? I love it so much. Look at this, look at this. You are being such a pain today. <laughs> anyway, I'm super excited. I'll also give a link to Mochipan down below. It's also time for Nagi and Haku's checkup. It's been about three months since their last blood work. Kidney disease can progress super, super fast in cats, so we want to make sure we stay on top of things. Fortunately, their numbers were all stable, and our vet said the most promising sign is that they both gained weight, so they have really healthy appetites but despite I'm switching to their special <laughs> kidney food <laughs> and supplements. All four wait, of our wait, cats wait, are on take, beds now, let me so take this off your leg. these two and refills for everyone oh, he, ended up being a bit a over $500. Oh, did he? Oops. Not my leg. Oh, you gotta put it on the camera. Thank you, wait. More cat maintenance we need is, we need to do something about the corner of the couch because Haku, when he's hungry, he gets angry and he starts destroying things because he knows it gets our attention. So I got one of these corner <laughs> scratch boards. It's not tall enough, but it was quicker than me trying to figure out how to make one. Hopefully this will inspire Haku to use this instead. Haku, where is he? Gym room. Haku, I got you something. Look, look. Hey, it's a good thing that he doesn't care, Rachel. <laughs> He's too big. He's gonna just scratch the top. Stand up and use that. He doesn't like it. I mean, I can keep the base. I can easily just get slightly longer boards. Honestly, that's like a what? A 20 minute project if I have the right sizes. What are you getting into? You found it? Good job. Hi Haku. Do you wanna come with me to Tokyo? I was packing and you found this space that I haven't put my clothes yet. <laughs> you mean the cat space? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I guess I have to wait to pack yet. I wasn't even ready, it's on the counter, buddy. <laughs> Hang on, here, let me put it on the ground so it's a little safer. I thought Nagi would like this one. Oh. Oh. Jin, look. Jin, look. You're making him upset, Haku. He's trying to bully Nagi out of the bed so he can play in it. Good job, it's really popular. <laughs> He's not giving it up. He claimed it, and now, oh no, it's <laughs> going underneath. Oh, oh, it's turning into a fight. <laughs> I'm not gonna give it up on this chair. It's fine, it's fine. 
Faku, why are you gonna be such a bully? You can wait your turn. <laughs> Oh, Haku. Oh, you did it, Nagi. There you go. Nagi lured Haku away by pretending that cardboard box was really exciting, and then he was able to come back here. You should have gotten two, Rachel. I know, I should have. Okay. All right, guys. I also got you new toys. Look, I found your favorite little rat tail as like a stick. He's got to go back. <laughs> he has a new castle from which he can attack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Chew on it. Brush your teeth. Hey, G, do you want to play? Oh, are you just scared? Oh no. She's just gonna run away. She doesn't understand. She's not. <laughs> That's like the clearest sign of I'm not interested. <laughs> it's a great day for you, isn't it, bud? Oh, you got it. <laughs> Do you like your bed? <laughs> I specifically measured out that space to make sure I could get a nice bed for him that fit under there. Kinitano. <laughs> Nagi just broke our coffee container. Thanks, bud. <laughs> Thank you so much to Sakurako for sponsoring our video. Sakurako is a monthly artisan Japanese snack box. Every month the theme is different. Oh, this one is Islands of Okinawa. Shirijoukono. We've been there. That's really pretty. Eh, honto? Isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The castle. I really enjoy how I can notice, realize mm -hmm. which snacks are from the company that I actually been to. This is from Midori Seiko, right? It is so adorable. I know. There are 20 snack items in every box, including teas that pair with all of the snacks and one tableware item. This month it is... Oh my gosh. Kingyo. It's, it's a little Kingyo dish. Koine. Look at it. This feels so summery. Okinawa was originally its own kingdom, the Ryukyu Islands. So they have a lot of customs that are a bit different from mainland Japan. They're really well known for the super bright red and yellow colors. The booklet gives cultural information on Japan and also highlights some of the local snack makers that they work with. Oh, we saw. Oh, Shikuasa, another Japan. famous popular Japan citrus has, from Okinawa. Japan has so, so many different citrus plants. They all taste different. Yeah, they do. And yeah. I'm gonna eat it right now. I like it. Just a sweet treat. Oh my gosh, it's hard. Mmm. Mm. It's hard, but then it starts melting. Here, try. Oh, yeah. I'm familiar with. Oh, the Shikuasa. <laughs> I, I had this, like, classic. Brown sugar snack, mm -hmm. which I like. It like it's hard, but it melts quickly and mm. crumbles apart. Mm. But the shikwasa flavor mm. goes really well. Yeah. Wow. The tea this month is sanpin tea or jasmine tea. This is one of my favorite like high quality Japanese omiyage snacks. This one with Okinawa salt. I really want to eat it, but I want to try something I haven't tried before, and I'm leaning toward. Kokuto Castella, the Kokuto Castella, because the mm. they look super adorable. Kawaii. <laughs> I've eaten many castello, but mm. not so much with the kokuto flavor. This is very good. There's a lot of flavor on the outside of these. Normally, I'm not a huge fan of castello because they're just kind of plain. But with the black sugar flavor, this is super delicious. I've never had one like this. Uh, it definitely makes you... Well, I was going to reach for that. I need it. Give it back. It Oh, Ine, it's really refreshing. It's just a beautifully smooth jasmine tea. If you're interested in trying Sakura Ko and getting a taste of Japan from the comfort of your own home, you can use our code and link in the description box to get $5 off your first box. Thank you so much to Sakura Ko for sponsoring our video. We're really honored to be working with them. Arigatouzaimasu. Each month, we love it. Delicious. What? <laughs> 
because you want food? No, no, okay. Okay, fine. No, no, come back. So, we have a lot of neighborhood cats who we can't stop from coming into our yard. Some of them were here before we moved in, so we have a adopted responsibility to also care for them. These three are very interested in keeping track of the neighborhood cats. Peachy doesn't care. Peachy only cares about pokey and food. But Nagi is extremely territorial. He stalked Peachy for like two years after we got Peachy. He is the most intense about keeping track of the neighborhood cats. And if he sees them too much, he'll pee. So I want to try building some sort of barrier that prevents Nagi from seeing the neighborhood cats when they're chilling in our driveway and waiting for food or just laying down and then also does not block our view of our garden. I'm gonna try to just come up with something for that. That sounds very complicated and difficult, but good luck. I know you can do it. <laughs> so the issue is we need to block this whole view of the driveway, not just from ground level, but also stair level because they can just go up on the stairs. So the first thing I wanna do is try putting up some slats to kind of like make a little wall here, which will block some of the view. I wanted to take the easy way out and use two by fours because they sell these, which are spring loaded end caps. This way I don't have to drill anything into the eaves above or mess up the tile below. It'll work. Ready. I already got some paint. It's gonna be the same color as our arbor in the back. Oh, she crashed there. You're the one we're talking about. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Yeah. The test pillow is already blocking some view. I've been refrigerating some wet food for her so she can eat something a little cool. This is not for you guys. This is an acrylic silicon resin. It forms like a, a really fancy coating on the outside of the wood that makes it waterproof, UV proof, so it doesn't degrade in the sunlight like a lot of paint does, so it's not gonna start chipping. This is supposed to last for at least 10 years, which would be really, really nice. With this type of paint, they usually say that you should not do a primer. It sticks better if it goes directly onto the wood which is why I just sanded down some of the stuff that was sticking out. And that's all I did to prep. Nani. Am I is seeing you weird like walking like a oh. look like I'm looking at a T-Rex cutting close to me. That's what I that's what I was gonna say. Do I look like a T-Rex? Really? <laughs> yes. We can make a good couple. We should get married. Yeah. This stuff. What did you find? Da da da! Two coats in one day. I finished all of it. Do you want me to put away my camera and help you? Um, yes. Yes, please. Wait. Pokey was on the other side, and Nagi wanted to go run this way. <laughs> and then Nagi literally kicked Pokey out. He doesn't have enough claws. No, he can do it easily. <laughs> it was closer for him to go back down. Come here, Nagi. Nagi, come on. Come here. I could deserve one. He won't fight for it. <laughs> okay. Haku, come, Haku, come on. Here's a spider. She was there yesterday. It's her home. I am so good with spiders now. I used to be terrified of them when I was little. I like your clothes that you're wearing. Arigato. Cool. Oh, I hope this looks good. It is kind of blocking the view. So, I yeah. have rivers of sweat running down my stomach. Oh, they can no longer see from the top of the stairs. How'd you like it, Pokey? Cool? Why are you acting like you're getting heat strokes? You're literally in a very air conditioner cool room. His face is inside my sweaty glove. 
Michael came down and watch us. <laughs> Alright, so I got these fences to try for lower level fencing. More tree? Uh, mo moto. Moto. Everything we planted here seems to be really happy. <laughs> They're growing like crazy. <laughs> Are. The, the lavender smells really good. Maggie's comfortably watching you work. How does it look from the inside? From here, it helps a ton. So halfway up the stairs and from this, this window. Left window is good. I just need a little bit more where that first fence is, I think. And your hair is doing great, by the way. I know it is. <laughs> I'm so... I feel envious toward the angel hair. It looks like such beautiful, luscious, shiny hair. And my hair is getting dry and lighter and stringy. And I feel... You put in shampoo and conditioner to protect it and then they're just going, surviving through the I very strong <laughs> sun UV light every I'm day. I'm feeling an uncomfortable amount of envy toward our plants, our hair plants. <laughs> this is not a Pathetic. this is not an okay feeling to have. <laughs> ja. <laughs> Let's go buy a tall plant. This is called electric pink. It's so pretty. <laughs> but it's Doksan. Is it big enough? To no, and I don't think it's dense enough. Uh. <laughs> this is so cute. It's so funny. Similar to asparagus looking. Asparagus. It is asparagus. <laughs> it is. <laughs> if we're gonna grow asparagus, I wanna eat it. Mini pampas grass. Oi. It says it gets 50, 60 centimeters. I think yeah. this is a good option. We also had a Especially pampas because, grass it's growing really well. Yeah. Now. Especially because the one we have right now is doing well. It's really cute. I love pampas grass. Okay. You see him? Froggy boy. It's pretty high up. Can you do it? <laughs> I think we're gonna move this lavender. Which is weeding, make some space to plant some more plants. The garden we planted out front is doing super well. It's kind of hard for us to tell like day to day how much it was grown, but I looked at some of the footage from when we first planted it and it was so different. It's so kind of heavy over here underneath the tree. And the other day when you left the house, they were running around the driveway too. I couldn't get the camera in time to film them, but they were super cute. They're super cute, yeah. I can see his long tail. He's so cute, I love him. I was worried this spring because the magpies kept eating all of our lizards. <laughs> There's a chubby baby over here. Oh. Kite, kite. This guy could be the parent. Look. Ooh. Chubby baby. Desho? Desho? Maybe A something. <laughs> so chubby. Okay, planted. Thank you. A tiny shoot. The fluffy part is already coming out. It's really cute. I wanted to hang some English ivy in the baskets there, but it gets a little bit of direct sunlight and that's too strong for the ivy. So I am testing out two different colors of a bamboo shade, specifically for the English ivy in the baskets. Are you less bothered? <laughs> it's Dad? completely blocking his view. I think this color looks nicer and fits better. There's just like a little nook. Yeah. A little cute. ivy nook. Kawaii-jan. Blue sky, camera nimbus cloud, stare, cicada. Very Japanese summer. 